The greatest occasion of the West End entertainment year, the Royal Film Performance. A chance for thousands to see the Queen and the stars. The great Yul Brynner, for example. And representing the young ones, Cliff Richard escorting his mother. <coughs> Hello, it's Peter Bradshaw here from The Guardian. We've arrived at that festive season when we're all thinking which edited selection of film reviews are we going to give as presents. So relax and enjoy this gorgeous love letter to Christmas past. Have yourself a merry little Christmas Let your heart be light Next year all our troubles Click on the link below to bookshop.org. My first film is The Prom, directed by the dark master of musicals himself, Ryan Glee Murphy. Wanted to take her girlfriend to the high school prom. And the PTA went apeshit and they cancelled it. We have got to go down there. Yes. And raise holy hell. Yes, we will be the biggest thing to happen in Indiana since whatever's happened in Indiana. We have come to this community on behalf of a young girl. I just wanna dance with you. I'm sorry, who are you people? We are from Broadway. I just wanna dance with you. We're not monsters. We're cultural disruptors. This entirely outrageous piece of steroidal show tune madness is based on a Broadway stage musical from a couple of years ago. And that was, in fact, based on a real life case from 2010 when a gay teenager in Mississippi was prevented from taking her girl date to the prom and celebrities got involved. Meryl Streep, James Corden, Andrew Rennells and Nicole Kidman play four tremulous Broadway liberals who hear about the terrible injustice being perpetrated against two teenage girls from Indiana, Emma and Alyssa, played by Joellen Pellman and Ariana DeBose. There are two or maybe even three competing tonal imperatives here. There's a perfectly serious desire to celebrate gay rights and gay partnership. There's a desire to celebrate, albeit in a tongue-in-cheek, affectionate way, the semi-acknowledged role of Broadway in gay rights in pop culture. And thirdly, there's a need to send up the cynicism and narcissism of the Broadway professionals themselves. Now, my view is that Prom does all this perfectly well and it's a terrifically enjoyable film, but the critical reaction out there tells me that there are plenty of people second guessing and third guessing and fourth guessing other people's tweets, other people's opinions, maybe their own tweets and their own opinions and they're thinking, is it cool to like this? Is it perhaps so uncool that it's cool? Or is it just uncool or is it just unironically cool? And where do we put this film on the laugh with, laugh at continuum? For me, I'm laughing with it and doing everything else with it. It's very corny and very enjoyable. <coughs> The actor Viggo Mortensen makes his debut as a writer-director this week with his feature, Falling. How was your trip out here, Daddy? I heard there was a lot of snow in Chicago. I, I don't live in Chicago. You asked me to come get you. Remember? You said you couldn't handle the farm anymore. The long winters, living all alone there. I would never say that. You did, Dad. <clears throat> Lance Hendrickson gives an excellent performance as Willis, a grumpy, ornery, snowy-haired old widower and farmer in the initial stages of dementia. He's had to come out to California to live with his son John, played by Mortensen himself, and John's husband Eric, played by Terry Chen. In this film, Mortensen takes a barefoot walk across the hot coals of family pain and shows how dementia locks the sufferer into disjointed memories and disjointed feelings that cannot be expressed or made sense of, a mute ecstasy of loneliness. The painful memories of wrongdoing are erased, but through some mysterious quantum of unhappiness, these memories are displaced into the minds of the grown-up children and carers who find that they cannot forget, but have to forgive. It's a superbly acted film which is in cinemas today. <laughs> This week has seen the Turin Film Festival, which has been happening online. One day I hope to make an actual physical visit 
to that beautiful city and that festival. I think one movie which stood out in Turin was the debut film Las Niñas by the Spanish filmmaker Pilar Palomero. Bueno, pues esta es Brisa, vuestra nueva compañera. ¿Quieres decirles algo? ¿Conoces este grupo? Pues quieres que te grabe una cinta, si los conoces. This is from the producers of that other excellent Spanish film, Carlos Simón's Summer 1993. It's about childhood, about innocence, about loneliness, and about friendship. I really hope it comes to the UK soon. That's it. Please subscribe to this channel, give it a like, and give it a share on social media. Thank you.